that I, I would like to talk about. Um, the first is that I think there's a misconception that when people call animal communicators, it's, it's very easy to say they want to just tell my animal not to do this. Tell my animal to do this. <laughs> and it's not quite that simple. I look at it as family therapy or family negotiation, you know, it's, it's, it's a relationship. And um, sometimes the animals will say, you know, I want this, and mom says, well, no, we really can't do that because of, and it's just a matter of explaining to the animal why you can't do that, and then the animal will say, okay, well, I want this then, and then mom will say, yes, okay, we can do that. So it's, it's not as simple as just saying, you do this, and, and they do it. That's one misconception. The other misconception is, is kind of a, a, agreeing with, with some of the things that they've said here, is that, um, yes, there's a difference between a pet psychic and an animal communicator. Now, I don't, I personally don't have the, the, I don't think of psychics as having anything to do with predicting the future. That, to me, is a misnomer, but that's just my interpretation. For me, psychic ability is using telepathy, what, which was, was what Gina was talking about. And, um, but there is a difference. When you talk to an animal, you're going straight to the animal, and you're talking just like Paula said, heart to heart. When you're using psychic ability, you're, you're, for instance, when I read a person, I'm reaching out and I'm getting information from another place. Not necessarily future information because I don't believe that. I'm not a predictive reader. But I'm, I'm reaching out, whereas with an animal, you're going straight to the animal. So there is a difference, and I think that there's been a lot of people, a lot of people that have done psychic work for a lot of times, a lot of years, and now that they're you know, animal communication is getting to be a big thing. They don't really study animal communication. They just kind of put, I'm a pet psychic. And then they read their pets psychically, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not the same process as when you're talking to them in a communication style. So there's just, there's different ways you can get different information. It doesn't mean that there's one is better than the other or right or wrong. It's just a different process so that when you see somebody that says, I'm a pet psychic, it's not the same as being a pet com an animal communicator. And that's, I think, kind of what we were talking, she was talking about there.